talking Maya Liu. Maya is talking um, on the, is the director and she's talking about the film Gay Me Baby, a new educational resource to explore family diversity. Please make Maya welcome. Thank you. was released last year, um, which I made in collaboration with producer Charlotte Mars. Um, and it's a story which is told from the perspective of children growing up in same-sex families. Uh, Gus, Ebony, Matt and Graham as they navigate the uh, universal challenges of growing up, of school, sport, friends, um, making their first decisions in the world. Um, and they do so within loving and caring homes um, with parents who are all happy to be gay and lesbian. Um, the film screened internationally. Um, we had the lucky opportunity to go all around the world, um, Melbourne and Sydney film festivals on home soil. Um, it was nominated for an Actor Award for Best Documentary and um, was the winner of the Australian Teachers and Media Award for Best Documentary. Um, and I think you know that's where lots of film teams were stuck. You know, they've sort of done their industry thing. Um, but along this journey, um, we heard so many stories from gay kids and teens and adults about their experiences at school. Um, we met 13-year-old Darcy who spoke of the social capital of gay from having gay parents. She literally bragged to her school friends uh, about marching in his game as a Mardi Gras parade. But then at the same time, we met um, kids like Jesse who had a cover story for 12 years of schooling that him and his brother uh, lived with their mother and their auntie um, for fear of being scrutinised in the school environment. And, you know, I think all of these stories told us that the school experience for gays is often defined by the potluck of where you live. Or if there's an individual staff member at your school that has knowledge to support diverse families. Um, you know, I think we really started to dream that film could provide a more holistic framework for schools um, and support teachers to confidently um, support this rapidly de uh, growing demographic of students in their schools. Um, it's really exciting times that we're living, you know, it's, it's the cusp of a whole new era of LGBTI story. Um, we're literally in a gay boom. So I just wanted to start by um, screening a trailer that we made. From the hit documentary Gay Baby comes a groundbreaking educational resource. I don't know if like, anyone who has a family like mine. This free school action toolkit explores diverse family structures in a fun and insightful way, using content drawn from the film Gay Baby. With lesson plans for years 5 to 10 and clear curriculum links to physical education, English, and humanities subjects, the resource offers a story-driven approach to teaching and learning. I really want to get into a new town. It would probably be the place where I'm mostly accepted. I am on the long road to puberty when you become a man. The activities explore relatable themes about family, growing up, gender, puberty, and personal change common to all students. Beyond the classroom, the School Action Toolkit encourages a whole school approach to welcome diverse families in your school. When students see their families reflected in their school environment, it increases feelings of validation, safety and acceptance. This positively impacts on the entire school community. With Gaming Baby's School Action Toolkit, You'll have all the information and tools you need to confidently support students from non-traditional families. You can say things like, I'm this tall and I weigh this much. Yeah. We really do discriminate something important to love for this. Kids sometimes can come up with better ideas than adults. Thank you for raising. 
you and make you who you are today out of your family. Make your school a welcoming place with Gaming Baby School Action Toolkit. Available from our website in May 2016. So, you know, at this stage, we went out and we connected with those who understand education best. With teachers, principals, curriculum writers, this uh, curriculum was actually written by Janice Atkin, um, and we created this insightful multimodal um, resource, which we're proud to say is um, actually the first, Australia's first comprehensive education resource to represent same-sex parented family structures and explore family diversity. Um, so in August um, 2015, you might have heard of our film because um, there was some controversy surrounding it um, in New South Wales. It was banned by um, our education minister to be screened in school hours. Um, we were trying to screen it, um, offer it to students to celebrate Work Purple Day. Um, and I'm only raising this to say because uh, I want everyone to know that this year um, we actually have you know full support of the. New South Wales government and you know, obviously Daniel Andrews in Victoria has been very supportive from the beginning, um, listing it as a suggested study guide. Um, and I think what it raises though is that while it's unfortunate that this controversy um, came about, it also serves as a reminder of the importance of the School Action Toolkit in educating the next generation and welcoming non-traditional families who so often come under attack. Um, so, I sort of mentioned a little bit in the trailer already, but um, it really spotlights same-sex families, but it's been written more broadly to encompass um, a myriad of family structures that exist in Australian schools today. Um, that's about foster kids, um, kinship structures, step, single, same-sex attracted or co-parented families. Um, it's mapped to the health and physical education content for the Victorian curriculum. Um, so it's general curriculum and the lessons therefore are not an add-on um, but they're part of the expected learning for health and um, physical education. Um, so we've got two resources. There's actually one which is for primary school and one that's for high school. That's the high school one. You can have a look at it in detail online. Um, and firstly, there's sort of two sections, and the first part is all about student-facing um, resources, so teaching and learning activities, and these lessons have kind of been designed knowing that teachers are time poor and have a thirst for practical evidence-based tools that can help you do your job. Um, the lessons aim to expand students' understanding of uh, family formations and gender stereotypes, personal change, um, communication and negotiation, difference and equality. Um, so there's five different activities in the um, high school resource and the first one is a foundational lesson. So students watch the 50 minute version of the film and then explore family as a global concept. And then the four subsequent activities um, focus on one of the kids um, so one of each of the four children in the film and we've edited specific learned teaching resources and videos for each lesson. Um, the second section of the resource um, is sort of staff facing. It's more about professional development and strategies for your school. Um, we, this was sort of stemmed, I think, again, from the stories that I was telling you about before. And one that I wanted to share in particular that I thought really outlined the necessity for proactive um, support um, from teachers in this area. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> um, so Kate is 26. She grew up with two dads and a mum. And every week, her rowing races, she would ask one of her dads to stay on the opposite side of the bank to her other parents because she didn't feel safe being out in her school. And one day in 10, she overheard her English teacher pull out a child for using the that's good, so gay derogatory comment. And she recalls it being that moment that she went home that night and asked her dad to stand on the side of the bank with all of her other parents. And I just thought it was such a beautiful example um, of how, you know, so in this section of the resource, we've got practical tips for school executives. It's about changing the culture of um, um, in your school and um, giving really practical ideas. So I just wanted to leave you with um, 
a really wonderful comment from Mel Gaylord, one of our partner organisations at um, Safe Schools Coalition. She says, imagine being a student in a school that is teaching the gay baby school action for kids. When you're seeing queer families on screen like any other family you might see in a film at school. Imagine your teacher explaining that these families are as legitimate and normal as any other. The poet Adrian Wright Rich once said, when someone with authority to teach you describes the world and you are not in it, there is a moment of psychic disequilibrium, as if you looked into a mirror and saw nothing. This resource will mean that kids from same-sex parented families will see themselves and queer young people will see possibilities. Um, that's it. Thank you.